Hello, everybody. Well, last episode, Hugo managed to reach zero approval, which is why he will never be any good at Ogre Battle. Still, he has the means to make some amends, and he's actually on the course to use them. Aha! When you're playing as Hugo, you don't have to find the Dreaming Idol. Unica will already have gotten it. Which is kind of nice, because that makes it the opposite of... Unica's uh, path, uh, where you get uh, the Idol uh, first, and then have to uh, go get the Black Pearl uh, elsewhere. That is to say, from Hugo. moment I thought the overwhelmingly strong uh, power would be the revenge monkey on Hugo's back. Thankfully, this is the last thing we'll ever need to do in Rado's Annex. I could see what happens if I try to have Hugo talk to Miyusha, but I don't think that would be Hugo's style. He's still not in the right frame of uh, mind to do any apologizing for anything to anyone. Well, okay, maybe a little. And Hugo probably can't stand it either. Anyway, you've probably noticed that the video for this section is a lot longer uh, than it was for Unica. That's because there's a whole lot of story stuff of Hugo's to resolve here, so... Strap yourselves in! Yeah, join the club, Fina. A lot of people who have met uh, Hugo have said some variation of this boy ain't right. But now we can just warp ourselves back. We are still going to have to see the Petrified Knights, though.
Thank you, Roy. Ah, uh, no comment. I do kind of like that petrification is treated like something of a big deal, and that it has some uh, lingering effects uh, even when it's completely cured. In fact, I like in general that transmutation is the province of the really powerful wizards. Now that's settled with, we can actually move on in this place. much more to say about this room. We've already said everything that can be. At least on this route, anyway. Splatter monsters don't die. That is the rules. Thankfully, we'd already gotten the piece of armor last video, so we don't have to spend any more time doing that. We do need to spend more time gaining experience and levels, because the boss is a doozy. In fact, even more so for Hugo than for other characters. they don't handle in Hugo's route at least is why Adalas uh, would uh, be inquiring about Hugo's employment status when uh, he already has one of the brothers fact. And especially since Toll is the more stable one of the two. Of course, Toll helping us may not have gone particularly unnoticed, as it were. Hey, another level. Ow. 
Well, we're almost to the boss room anyway. And in this chest is... A boost to our fire magic, which will be completely useless against the next boss. Let's see more SP. More. More of everything, really. More mantids. Yeah, we're near the boss, but I'm going to want to stop and gain another level before we actually tackle that thing. Come back here, eyeball of fact. Red enemies here can do some very, very serious damage to Hugo. Thankfully, we have boost. And lasers. Okay, I'm just gonna save here and then pop off and grab an extra level, you know, that I want. Okay, boom, we're back. And I'm going to boost the skill recovery. It will be very useful even though I'm not going to be really skill dependent as uh, Hugo. No wait, that's a complete lie. Never mind! Oh. And here's Dallas. You meet him a little bit later in Hugo's story than you do in Unica's anyway, so... Okay, Dallas mocking t yeah, Hugo's uh, movement speed. And Dallas has already started with the job interview. Okay, Dallas, I'll grant you that one. And besides, Dallas could probably squash Hugo right now. And here comes the direct temptation of power. Let's see what happens. Seemed like a reasonable assumption. Yeah, 
Because demons drink blood and eat people. Well, Dallas is hitting nail after nail on the head. Good Hugo. Don't accept power from Dallas. Don't accept power from Dallas. Okay. Accept power from Dallas. This is not good. You accepted power from Dallas. That's just the first hit. The next one's gonna cost ya. Oh, I'll bet you are, Dallas. No, <laughs> this is the opposite of good. Let's just get the boss over with. Okay, Pictomos is probably the hardest of Hugo's bosses, because Hugo does not have the range to smite Pic- Biff, to snipe Pictomos, though he doesn't have the range to smite him either, and he doesn't have the speed to close up either, plus his uh, skills don't really uh, do big damage to Pictomos, unlike Unica shotgunning him with the Phoenix Fire. So all of the advantage that other characters might have are things that Hugo doesn't. There are a couple of things you can do with skills, like uh, drop mines for him when he's in lance mode, and uh, 
actually use your shield magic because he generally depends on bigger hits than other bosses in this game. However, Hugo will never be doing great damage to Pictomos, and so it's not all that easy for him to uh, break down the, the boss's health or even deal with all the mini mantids uh, that he spawns once he reaches half health. So Pictomos is a pretty nasty piece of work for Hugo to deal with. Unlike me, you should probably keep your shield up at all times. And if you can boost, do it. Hugo's last really difficult boss, though. Because Hugo's burst skill is rather astoundingly broken. way too many times. One thing that I probably should have noticed when I was doing this fight myself, you know, besides the directions that Pictomus was attacking in, was the fact that shield da magic actually does do some fairly substantial damage to the mini mantids. more so than Hugo's actual normal shots. So I'm down to being able to take about two hits from Pictomos at this point, and I try to finish him off easily, but Hugo just doesn't do the damage to actually make something like that possible. Plus, you can only damage Pictomos from the front, apparently. So at this point, if I take one more hit, I would have been killed. And I missed one mantid. Oh well, Hectimus gets to resurrect twice, but he doesn't live long. Dallas's demonic pa power was cut with sugar, wasn't it? Well, uh... This is a problem. This is an even bigger problem. Meet 
demon-powered Hugo. Okay. Hugo has really boosted attack and defense here. So, while it's technically possible to uh, lose to Pictomos, you really have to work at it. In fact, there's an, even an achievement for, uh, for uh, losing. The thing is, when you use your shield magic, the shield takes like ten times as many hits, possibly more. So, blowing him away is no problem at all. And now, the consequences. This is not the text box of a reasonable man. less right than normal. Fair enough. Hugo has accepted ultimate power! I just don't... I've got nothing. Well, okay, Hugo, you're gonna wreck the whole raid. No team killing, Hugo. Told you about Dallas, bro. By the way, I'm sorry if Hugo's text is a bit hard to read. So, Epona is gonna try to wake him up. Yes, even with ultimate power, Hugo still has trouble uh, snuffing Epona.
Yeah, Hugo's back to normal. I bet everyone wish Hugo learned this lesson before he shot up his teammates. Good on you, Epona, for not bringing up uh, that uh, Hugo is the one who said yes in the first place. Oh, speaking of the big boss... This is long distance petrification. Something that he hasn't done since the earlier versions of East 1 and 2. Hugo, learn to feelings.
not looking good for love interests in this game. Okay, so Hugo has come to his senses. Let's see what he does with them. Okay, time to move on to the final area of the tower. Anyway, though, that's about it for this session of East Origin. Next, we move on to start the end game. I will be seeing you then, and maybe things will get better for Hugo and Co. Bye!